Well, with us now is David Willits, Conservative MP, Minister of State for Universities and Science, and John Denham, who was Secretary of State for Innovation, Universities and Skills under the last Labour government. How close are you to accepting the system doesn't work? The system does work. The system involves graduates repaying. Students don't pay up front. It has delivered high quality teaching, well-funded universities, ensuring that, uni that students have less crowded classes and better equipped labs. It is the case, is it not, that you are expecting that perhaps, what, 28-30% of students might not be able to repay their loans. Is that correct? That was the working assumption? What has happened is every time there is a new earnings forecast, we recalculate the repayments over the next 30 years and it's true that as earnings have not grown as much as was originally forecast, the 21,000 repayment threshold has become higher, so people are expecting currently less to be repaid. But to be honest, what we're basically doing here is forecasting an income tax receipt over the next 30 years and every six months, in accordance with the rules, we produce a new forecast and it's going to carry on changing but the figure because is about of the changes in sure. employment and it's about 45% though, isn't it? That is our current estimate and I expect it will carry on changing. I've warned the House of Commons and Select Committee it will change every six... At what point does the system become unviable? Well, what we have is a graduate repayment scheme. And as you heard from one of the interviewers, part of the feature of this scheme is if graduates have low earnings, they don't repay. That was actually that what was made clear. our system that progressive. That was clear from the start. The exact calculation but of how much they're going to repay will vary right. as earnings forecasts change. OK, uh, at what point does it become unviable? Well, I think that this is a solid system, which all yeah, three... Um, look, there's a figure no. as an answer to this. You must have done the sums. The, what I'm telling you is that all three political parties, when faced with the challenge of how to finance higher education, have basically come up yeah. with this model, a graduate repayment system... You haven't, students you haven't don't given pay me a number yet. Well, because I don't really think that there's a kind of number that answers your question. I'm well, telling you, we've got, we've got a graduate repayment scheme. If we did, as you say, labour envisaging, and went down to 6,000 fees, then you would have, you'd write off all the money. You would have to find right. an extra £3 billion pounds of public expenditure to right. pay to universities, and none of that would you get back because you'd be just be giving it as a well, grant. Let me ask a man who's sat in the mm -hmm. seat you're currently occupying. Yeah. You seem rather pleased at the prospect well, of I talking to I said to Johnny, it was a bit like old times when, yeah. when he came into <laughs> now, the Now, you've been writing a, a report on this for, for, for Labour, haven't you? Well, I've been writing it for yeah. myself, but Endless. I hope the Labour Party takes it seriously. But that's At what uh, point do you think that the system becomes unviable? I think when the situation we're now in, which is where the taxpayer every year borrows, say, £10 billion and writes off £4.5 billion, is a ridiculous system. It would be better to borrow less but spend that money on teaching undergraduates. Now, if you do that, fees will fall, the universities will have as, uh, as much money as they do now, and graduates would pay back less than they do at the moment. It's a much better system. So we should have the courage, in my view, to switch from borrowing money and cancelling it to spending money on teaching students. Does Ed Miliband like this idea? Well, Ed is listening, as are the people around him, to what I'm proposing, because I think my ideas are interesting. They are listening to other people with other models, so we'll ha have to see. What's become clear, I think, in the last few days is uh, an appetite in the Labour Party for saying, let's move in a different direction. I think that's important. We've got but some way to go to see what the final form will be. There's a certain attractiveness about that idea, isn't there? This isn't working brilliantly. Well, I, I think what I don't understand in John's model is he, he talks about the loans that are written off as if it's somehow kind of wasted money. But the 9,000 fee or whatever it is, is all going to the education of the student. And the student is actually getting more funding behind oh. his or her education now David, than before we brought in the system. David, so we've got better funded universities. No. We've got students, therefore, getting a better education at lower cost to the exchequer. David, what I have been able to show is you can produce exactly the same amount of income for universities as they have at the moment, but the government, on behalf of the taxpayer, borrows less money and graduates have lower fees. It is a ridiculous level of waste in your system at the moment. It's wasteful of public spending and it's wasteful for those graduates who are having to pay over the odds for their fees. I, I, so yeah. there's no cut in university well, income. I don't think it's a waste. If we say if you have low earnings you don't repay now the fact is that every six months with a new earnings forecast exactly the effect of that changes. but that's the basic principle it's what makes it progressive if you have low earnings you don't repay and that was one of the concerns that you know those fil that film you showed of those students protesting I think they thought that if they were unemployed or in low pay jobs they'd be repaying they're not they're David, only if you're earning more than 21,000 you start if, repaying if the fee itself is lower 
you pay less money back. That's the whole point of it. Actually, I would rather have a system where students paid lower fees, but actually we're able to pay yes. more, a bigger yes. percentage of that yes. feedback. Sure. It's yeah. much, yeah. much well, better. So, yeah. so you, you, your system started out as a way of trying to save public money. How do you meet money, the gap? And it's failed to death. If yeah. it you costs, say, £9,000 for the sake of argument, to yeah. you, you, you still get the same income to universities. What you have done is switch money from the waste of debt cancellation into teaching. It means that every year... So the government the gives the money directly to the, the university. Instead of the taxpayer borrowing a huge amount of money and writing a lot of it off, the taxpayer borrows less money and that goes more directly but, but to I the think, university. But I think in the small print there's something like maintenance grants going as well to help pay for that, which I think that, students, that might, helps, be, that helps which bring, might, students it, might be rather it, unhappy in, about. in my scheme that brings that down, but the reason for doing that, David, is that fees fall so much that a low-income student ends up at the end of their degree, they've had just as much money to live on, but they actually have a lower overall no, no, debt. So no, provided... No, no, right. no, no, this is important. No. Provided no. each individual student knows they have just as much money to live on, but they have a lower overall debt, they are better right. off. Well, I, this is counting fees as if it's the same as maintenance. But look, the fact is, we've got... Ed Miliband, who said when he was going to getting elected, he was going to bring in a graduate tax. We've had them talking about a 6,000 fee, which would leave a black hole in their finances. We've got John with his interesting wheeze, which is different from the other two. I don't know what it is well, that Labour are proposing in the next election, but I do know what we're offering students, okay, which is better-funded universities with yeah. a fair repayment right. scheme. Can I, can I ask you, are the universities asking you for, for the limit to be raised? <sighs> I mean, there are always universities that are going to mm. rate... Well, universities come to see me, and obviously they all say they need more money. What so I say are. to them what I say to them is this. £9,000 is enough right. to educate a student in Britain today. It is a right. fair deal, apart from the high-cost subjects, which cost more. And for them, we're adding the funding to meet the extra cost. Indeed, George Osborne, in his autumn statement, found extra money for the high-cost subjects. Let this me ask you something, yes. a, a, a financial question too. There's talk about Labour bringing in a cap at, say, £6,000 or £4,000 or something. We'll find out later this week. Should Labour go further? In what way? Well, do you think the, the cap of 6000 is all right or well, 4000 or this is what a, do you do? This is, as you gather through the conversation, a complicated system. Very model. complicated. But if you maximise the amount of money you take out of debt cancellation and piece it into fees, you can bring fees, in my view, below £6,000. And in fact, it's slightly odd, this system, the more you make a big change, the better it works. Trying to make little changes at the top costs a lot of public right. money. So you can make a big change and I think we should but we'll have to see what uh, Labour Party decides. Thank you both very much. Thank, Thank you. you.